the Fed will continue to increase the interest rate as a way for them to get inflation under control. What I will do in the months ahead and this focus can apply to many of you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Last week, we had another three quarter of percent hike in interest rates. The Fed wants to drive down the inflation rate to the ideal of rate of 2%, where we are around 86 at the moment. How will this affect us? Borrowers will pay more for all loans. This includes mortgages, car loans, credit cards, and student loans. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This channel is about learning and buying your first investment property as well as growing your real estate portfolio so you can accelerate your journey to a financial independence and make an impact on the lives around you. My name is Corey Ann and I am a real estate investor since 2001. I achieved my financial independence when I was 35 years old after consistently investing in cash flow properties over 8 years. Given this channel is about investing in cash flow real estate assets, I am focusing on the interest rate hike which affects all mortgages, whether it is 30 year fixed or adjustable mortgage and how this data alone will affect the home prices. Last December 2021, the 30-year fixed rate was about 3%. As of November 3rd, 2022, around 11 months later, the 30-year fixed rate is now at 7.3%. Let's run the number to compare the impact of this interest rate spread around 4.3% on a 200,000 mortgage with 200,000 mortgage at 3%, the monthly mortgage payment is around 1043. With the same mortgage at the higher current rate at 7.3%, the monthly mortgage payment now is at 1654. That is a whopping increase of $611 per month or $7,332 per year. The total cost to borrow the same amount of money is significant more expensive compared to a year ago. The total interest paid after 30 years at 3% is about 103,000 versus at 7 and at 3%, that number is 293,000. That is staggering 190,000 more over the life of the loan. The increase in interest rate will automatically disqualify many new home buyers and will force them to seek a much lower loan amount than what they would have been qualified for a year ago. This same increase of interest rate will also materially change the economics of seasoned real estate investors as they evaluate projects for their potential monthly cash flow. To offset the higher mortgage payment, investors will look for rent growth to generate a higher top line, which will alleviate the net bottom line cash flow what if sustainable rent growth is not achievable because of the median household income cannot support the growth? There will be an issue with late rental payments from tenants who cannot keep up with their rent. I anticipate home prices will come down in some area to where the median household income can support the ongoing mortgage payment or rent can be increased to sustain the rental market. All these changes or adjustments will take place so the housing market will get back to a more sustainable equilibrium state. The Fed also mentioned last week that they will continue to increase the Fed fund rate to drive toward the ideal inflation rate to 2%. Currently, there will be a 6% gap in the inflation. Based on the last four rate hikes at three quarter percent, they have had a little effect in the reducing the uh, inflation rate. As you can see in the historical inflation rate chart, because we are still far away from the targeted inflation rate of 2%, 
you should anticipate the cost of borrowed money to continue to be higher as well. The Fed will continue to increase the interest rate as a way for them to get inflation under control. Whether we like it or not, the interest rate will likely to continue to raise. We will go along for the ride, but we must be aware of our economic environment so we can protect our capital and smartly weight the risk and rewards of each project in which we plan to invest. What I will do in the months ahead and this focus can apply to many of you. Number one, invest in assets that can produce a return higher than your borrowing cost. This may sound obvious, but in this climate of every increasing interest rates, it is critical that you stay current and factor in your borrowing cost. The mortgage payment is one of the highest expenses and any increase that can and will change the cash flow and the viability of your project. Unless you know actually what you are getting into, you should be concerned with any project that will give you negative monthly cash flow and higher interest rate will decrease your cash flow. Number two is be mindful of how and where you deploy your money. You should avoid borrowing money to spend on non-productive assets like credit loans spent on discretionary expenses or car loans, especially now with the higher interest rate and they will likely to go up. Payment on this type of loans will take up the savings that you plan to save to invest in your financial future. More than ever before, be intentional with your necessary spending versus discretionary expenses. Number three is acquire high value skills. Many companies already announce layoff when they anticipate slow economic growth. You should consider acquiring high value skills so you can be valuable to your employer and your job is safe. Another thing is to start a side hustle in your spare time to increase your earnings so that you can save more money for unexpected event that can happen to any of us. Number four is protect your capital at all cost. Saving money is already difficult for many of you. I highly recommend taking the time to acquire the necessary skill sets to protect your money at all costs or seek a special life advisor to guide you through this process. There will be many great real estate opportunities ahead during this uncertain time. Just like our past economic downturns in the 80s, the year 2000, and the year 2008. You should have some money to invest when the cash flow assets are selling as a discount. When you understand the cost of borrowed money, on your real estate projects and the reward is produced, you can make an informed decision to invest successfully. I hope you enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out too. Share with me in the comment below, what do you think about the Fed's recent rate hikes? Will this rate hike keep you away from investing? or buying your first home. Thank you so much for watching. Let's learn, invest, and make an impact. Ciao.